In the last video, we uh, did a indirect calculation of, of coming to uh, a cost of goods sold figure uh, for your company, uh, knowing your beginning inventory, your ending inventory, uh, your purchases, uh, and and getting the calculation that way. And in our sample, um, we found, and like we're going to take this a little step further, so I made it a little smaller here. Uh, in our sample, our beginning inventory was $400,000 for the pharmacy. Um, we had $3 million in purchases. Uh, our cost of goods available then for purchase uh, would be $3.4 million. Uh, at the end of the period, we had $300,000 in inventory left over, in ending inventory, giving us a cost of goods sold for the period of $3.1 um, million. Now, some calculations that are important in business that uh, we use to kind of measure how our business is doing um, and our, how we are managing thing, things uh, would be uh, a, a ratio that's referred to as um, inventory turnover ratio. So that's our... Inventory um, turnover. Ratio. Okay, and this ratio is calculated um, pretty simply. Uh, you basically would just take your cost of goods sold. So, for like for the year, uh, cost of goods sold divided by your average uh, inventory. So, uh, in this case, it's just simply um, a calculation of, again, COGS divided by your beginning uh, plus your ending. Yes, your beginning inventory plus your ending inventory uh, divided by two. So you just get an average. All right? So in our example here, to find our inventory turnover ratio, we're just going to take cost of goods sold of thirty or three point one million dollars. Uh, and our average inventory, so we take um, 400 uh, plus 300 uh, in this case so um, $700,000 um, divided by 2 uh, to find our average here and when we do this calculation we find out that our Inventory turnover ratio comes out to be, so let's take 700 divided by 2. Um, so we have $350,000 on the bottom, so 3.1 million on the top, divided by 350,000 on the bottom, gives us an inventory turnover ratio of approximately 8.5. We'll just round that up to 8.9, uh, and this is considered 8.9 turns, or and so I guess in, in the way that this kind of ca is calculated or, or figured out is that uh, you would say that your inventory um, in the in this period, so whatever the time frame is, typically like you know say a year or quarter or whatever. Um, we'll, we'll say uh, in, in a year's time that in a year's time our, we turned our inventory over 8.9 times. Now does that mean we uh, sold um, 8.9 bottles of Lipitor or 8.9 bottles of amoxicillin? Do we do that on every single drug in the pharmacy? No, what, that, what that's referring to is that the dollar amount we may have sold um, you know, 40,000 tablets of uh, of amoxicillin 500 milligram or uh, amoxicillin capsules we may have sold you know some um, large amount of that and maybe only sold 
two or three bottles of you know some brand name drug like Seroquel. Um, just to, depending on what it was, where this this is all in uh, you know a dollar amount, not in a unit uh, a, a unit co um, calculation. Now we can take that turnover ratio and calculate another ratio that we uh, refer to as you know like day supply or um, you know the day days of inventory on hand um, and your day supply calculation is simply just you take the number of days in a year 365 so 365 days um, and we divide it by our turnover ratio so our and this, so this is your formula inventory uh, turnover uh, ratio running out of room here and my handwriting is getting a little sloppy um, and so when we divide it by our in inventory turnover ratio we take 365 divided by 8.9 in this case in our pharmacy so we have days divided by uh, turns here um, so we take 365 divided by 8.9 I get roughly 41 so we can round that to 41 and this would be calculated in uh, you know, or this would be units I guess 41 days um, per turn or inventory turn meaning that uh, the amount of inventory that you have on hand um, provides you with enough inventory for f a 41 day supply uh, and again does this translate into you mean into you saying that you have 41 days worth of a drug like Lipitor on your shelf or 41 days of a drug like amoxicillin or uh, or hydrocodone or whatever um, no, that's not what that's referring to. That's just referring to that the dollar amount, um, and this is kind of a way of judging just what what our what amount of inventory we have on hand. Um, and the pharmacies that I've worked at in the past, uh, a, a good a good goal is you know 30 days or anywhere between 20 and 30 days supply. Uh, sometimes as high as 35 days. Uh, 41 is a little bit on the high side. Uh, now, what does it mean if you have a high day supply? Uh, it just means that that the amount of inventory that you're keeping on your shelves uh, is is a little bit high, uh, and you're you have a lot of assets tied up in in this inventory, you know, in your uh, ending and or your uh, average inventory. So, uh, would a good strategy would be to do something to cut that, to cut that, to to reduce the amount of tablets of of high cost items and things like that that you can you can hold on your shelf to try to lower this day supply down and still service the patient and make sure that the that your patients and uh, are not going without their medicine um, so anyway I hope this uh, helps break down uh, some of those business terminologies that are thrown around you know in in pharmacy management like day supply turnover ratio uh, and 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 um, other other things that go into the calculations that make make uh, cost of goods sold uh, make a little bit more sense